Hello everyone, welcome to another episode on Astopods. Firstly, I'd like to apologize to my fans and my listeners, my very loyal listeners all over the world. I know you've not heard from me for like a week. The reason is not is that I've been trying to get some guests to come on the podcast. I've been trying to see how to scale up and have more listeners. But I'm not going to lose sight of you that has been listening to my podcast from the beginning. And I really want to say I appreciate you. I appreciate every single one of you. And I see you guys and I really appreciate you. And I put something up on my Instagram the other day that um, I'll be, uh, you know, I'll be talking about issues. Some of these issues that is going on that we are hearing about. I'll just read about them and I'll be doing some Instagram uh, um, stories about some of these things so that when my podcast is not there at least you can see my uh, watch my instagram and see what i'm talking about at the time so that we can have a conversation you can reach out you can you can chime in you can um give me suggestions and ideas of what to talk about that's all idea so that we can be 24 7 you know involved you know uh, informed with, with this um latest happenings uh, actually you know, issues that actually um uh, affects us so i tend to use um the instagram platform a lot more to to talk about issues and to break issues down to you guys even so that you can get them just in real time that being said my podcast today is about jamal khashoggi jamal khashoggi was 59 years old when he was murdered in 2018 in the um saudi arabia saudi, saudi arabia consulate in turkey he was uh was uh, it was uh, it was on self-exile in the united states and he was working as a columnist for the Washington Post. So Jamal Khashoggi is uh, one of those top elites of Saudi Arabia because of his, you know, his level of um, expertise when it comes to journalism. But in this case, he had sharply fallen out of favor with the um, Crown Prince of Saudi, that is Mohammed bin Salim, and and uh, that ends. That's why he went to a self exile. And, you know, he was not going to go to Saudi because now he, he could be murdered. But information reached and he was killed in Saudi. And it became a global case. And upon the investigation of the South, of the United Nations and the CIAs and some of these, uh, even the Turkish um, um, agencies, they were able to ascertain and confirm that his killing was actually ordered by the Crown Prince of Saudi. Now, what is more... Um, interesting about this case is that first of all this man is dead and it's a very sad thing but more importantly is that to to this day to this very second as i'm speaking right now we don't know where the body of this man is so this man was killed and his body has never been found has never been found and that is the more um um, um brazen and uh, you know, barbaric and really ruthless and, and callous thing about his death because it was really a very, very uh, wicked way of, you know, because in Islam, based on my, on my own knowledge, when someone is deceased, the family of the, of the deceased must bury the person within 24 to 48 hours of that person, of, of, of that person passing out. So if this, so this man has been dead since 2018 and the family does never know where his body is, to, to bury their their father their 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 friend their their uncle they don't know and at the time he had a fiance that was trying to get the paperwork to to marry now you know that is gone forever so this case is a very is, is one of those cases that really uh means it, it kind of for me i find it very very uh you know touching it touches me a lot because i cannot understand in this day and age that the young crown prince, the de facto ruler of, of the kingdom of Saudi, will be involved in such a brazen and ruthless thing. But, you know, it's what it is. That's what I'm saying about this absolute powers. When all these people are rulers, you know, they are, they, they, they are the alpha and the omega of their, of their kingdom. And nobody can challenge them. And then, and then they use this religion to say power, power is of the, power is from the almighty. But it's human beings that, that that is building the the, the 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 magic wand of power, you know. So in, for me, in this case, there are so many angles to it, and I and I've read about it. I'm right now. I'm just saying from what I've read. Really, I'm not really reading anything right now. I'm just going 
just of what, of what I read about it. So it was reported that um, the one of the sons, I guess the eldest son of um, Jamal Khashoggi, I think his name is Amsala Khashoggi, if I'm not mistaken, uh, said that the family had forgiven those that killed their dad. And by by the by just by making that pronunciation, that um that pronouncement alone, uh it has in according to Saudi laws, when the family of the deceased say that they forgive you, you are automatically exempted from the capital punishment. That is, normally those that were accused and were found guilty for killing this man, which you can not still prove because his body is not found, but but they are said that yeah, they killed him. Because this band, this boy has um, accepted that, or has said that he and his family has forgiven them, they will not go through the capital punishment because the punishment for killing human beings or, or, or things of this nature in Saudi, based on my reading, is that the person, the the, the culprits will be beheaded plainly in the in the open place. They're gonna behead them, but because now that they have um, the family have sort of forgiven them. They are going to be exempted from being beheaded, and the the international community is saying that that is not a thing that they think the family will willingly do. That most likely they were under duress. That the family was under a lot of pressure to 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 say that they are forgiven these people. They can they can uh, they can uh, avoid being beheaded. You know, it's very funny because in this life, right. You guys went ahead to kill someone's dad, someone's fiance, someone's husband, someone's friend, someone's boss, someone that a lot of people have relationship with one way or another. You killed him. You didn't even think about that because allegedly the 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 crown prince of Saudi had ordered for his head or something like that. But now you don't want to die, but you can kill people, but you don't want to die. So you're gonna do everything within your power to make sure that they are, they are not dead. And not only did they do that, the the Saudi Arabia authorities made sure that this whole case is shrouded in 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 big cloud of secrecy. Nobody could see nothing. The international community don't know what's going on. But all we all we heard was that on Monday the the, uh, the Saudi court uh, sentenced these guys to twenty years, some to ten years in prison. And some of the big officials that was actually involved in this case are not even tried at all. They are living free. So what are we talking about? And is there even proof? Do you have a proof? Do you have anything to show that uh, that this that this man, these people actually killed this man? Because they said that they killed him. Okay, if they killed him, where's the body? Where's the body? Who ordered the death? What did you do with it? I mean, really personal questions. And everything was was in, was done in secrecy. And these kids said that they 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 forgive the pe- the people that did it because of course apparently they've gotten some financial. Um, Compensations or rewards or advances from this um, from this crown prince. So there, there, there are many layers to this. But the one thing we can look, we can see for sure is that upon the indictment of this man of the of the MBS, the crown ruler of um, Saudi, when he was upon the fact that he was indicted, his um his reputation has been um heavily dented in the international community. That we have a crown prince of the holy land allegedly involved or actually neck deeply involved in this particular case so people are now looking at them differently and now you want you want to say what did Jamal Khashoggi actually what did he do to deserve this kind of um this kind of this kind of attacks this kind of um callousness and 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 terror bro what he did was that based on what I read is that um he was a he was a critic of this MBS of this particular crown prince it was critical of him, and especially the fact that it was it was it was also criticizing criticizing America um, the Saudis' involvement in the war in Yemen. He was not in support of that war, and he was criticizing why you guys killing people in Yemen. He was criticizing that, and the and and the fact that this particular um, crown prince is for as far as, far as he was concerned is. Is 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 not the guy, you know. It was he, he he had his own strong reservations in terms of this man's behavior and his character and the way he conduct himself, himself, uh, 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 you know. So that that was the real issues because he was not happy with the war they were fighting in Yemen and was a critical of the crown prince on many grounds. 
now can we say he's wrong now if this if if if, if indeed he was the crown prince that ordered his um um his, his, his execution can we actually say that Jam, Jamal Khashoggi was wrong that this man is a is 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 a is an evil person or that that that, that this man is not a is a man that is uh that's that people should look at in a different way can we say he's wrong now as as this as this as 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 his killing not proven his um theory or his um his um beliefs about this man's character right you know that's 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 another thing that's another way to look at it but i want to move forward to uh, to United States of America's um, um, stance on this issue. Apparently, uh, when this thing broke out and a lot of senators like the Rand Paul, Lindsey Graham, and all these other senators were really irate. They were really upset about this thing that, man, we have to severe all our ties with this country. A country that is killing people and we can't even find the body is not a country that we should, that we should be doing business with. Yes, President Trump initially talked tough and it was like there'll be some serious consequence to this. And after a while, Trump just told us that, listen, man, I'm not going to be doing this. I'm, I'm not about to, uh, to cut ties with it, with Saudi when we are in the middle of a, of, of a deal that is, that, that is, that is almost hundred billion dollars in terms of Ham's deal that, they, that we are, that the country is selling to, the, to, to, to Saudi. So he said, and he, and he said that, listen, Jamal, is a, Jamal is a, was a Saudi, right? And he was killed by Saudis. And he was never an American citizen, although he was a legal resident in the United States. So basically, Trump just distanced dis- dis- himself and his administration that we're not going to fight a war that is not ours. And for what reason? To lose a, 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 a hundred billion dollar deal, an um, arms deal. So, and that is another thing that I, I, I keep looking at in terms of the way Trump ad- um, addresses some of these issues. He has always, always looked at things from the business perspective. And sometimes some, your moral, your moral, um, your moral, um, decorum, your, your moral, um, brain, your, your moral being is questioned like, okay, we know that you have money that, that we may lose potentially, but what does your morality say about this thing? And as we all know, the United, the United States of America is the leader in the world. I mean, it's, it's f- fact. And when, when I would say this, when America sneezes, the whole world catches cold. So when Trump said that kind of statement, saying that um, it's not about a, we're not about to fight or severe our ties with these people, and actually, actually even praised the MBS, the world basically got the cold um, shoulder. Like man, we can't do much because if if the if the, if the United States are are not severing their ties with this country, why should we? You know. So there was this. Everybody just kind of dial it down since Trump made that statement. So Trump basically gave this guy a pass. So there are many questions that is yet to be answered. And when these people when this law and uh, this court passed that law on Monday, I think, it was like wow. This 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 completes um bridge in this justice system. And definitely the justice system of Saudi cannot be trusted. But I I don't want to go too deep in this in this um this particular podcast because the information like I said is is not really open and and uh, they are they are just telling us that we should just trust what they are doing. I don't I I don't trust what they are doing. I never know if they know what they are doing. But I am just really at this point I look at things from the fact that the Saudis did not get major blows or backlash from the international community because America kind of give them a pass. The fact that the uh, the people that did this thing, that committed this inner crime, are still roaming free. The major um, people actually ordered, ordered this, this killing was as roaming free. It tells, them, it tells them something about the Saudi country, Saudi kingdom as, as a whole. The fact that MBS is one of the leaders of the world and is doing this such a, such a um, very evil thing it's also a, it just tells me a lot of things about this world, and um, I, I just want to leave us with a quote from the from the um, fiance of of uh, of Jamal Khashoggi. She said something. She said <clears throat> said that she's not pleased with that whole thing, but she says that for, she, who planned it, who ordered it, where is the body? These are the most important questions that remain totally un- unanswered. That's the question. Who planned it? Who ordered it? Where is the body? 
So before the world can accept any culturally from this um, Saudi, uh, they must provide the body of Jamal Khashoggi. That is what the world wants to see. He wants to see the body of this man. Where is his body? And that's the whole podcast. So it just shows that ministers of the world are always putting their business interests above not all the time, but sometimes put their business above uh, moral and uh, uh, you know, you know, moral interest or the goodwill or you know something like that. Or even their their status, they always put their business interests above all the all other people's interests. And I'm just disappointed in America's um, um, leadership in this particular case. I'm also not so happy the way America is leading the way in terms of the um, the unrest in um, Hong Kong. I'm talking about that later. But for today, I'll be dropping two podcasts. So, so that you guys know that I'm, I've been working on some things. Uh, so this is the one I'm dropping right now. And uh, my next podcast will be about the NBA playoffs so far. My predictions were actually right. <laughs> Uh, I should be a coach in the NBA or some executive in the NBA. Uh, and I'll be talking about, I'll, I'll give us a detailed information information about um, Brianna Taylor. I listened to the podcast on daily, um, the daily, the daily news or something like that. And I, I listened, to, I, I, I listened, to, uh, I listened, uh, and I, I'm, re- I'm in the process of reading the particular um, New York Times um, article about the Brianna Taylor's um, saga. And I'll be giving us information about that maybe I get most likely tomorrow. And um, yes, that's the end of this podcast today. Please like, love, share, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you think. Like I said, you you will hear more of me on my Ask Topaz Instagram um, um, story. I have to give you that because that's where we'll be giving you some of this information as they are coming up in life a lot more. Uh, that's the podcast, guys. Thanks a lot for listening to Astro Pods. I'm very, very appreciative of your time. Thank you. Have a lovely day. Have a, have a beautiful weekend. Bye for now.